Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing well and if you are loving this series, just consider subscribing to the channel. And today we are going to talk about NPM script. NPM script is again yet another important topic which allows you to write your custom script or run run your you know script provided by NPM. So what script means? Script are you know uh, some command line that you can execute that is provided by uh, NPM and there are a lot of script like that. So for example, that you see pre and post script, uh, lifecycle script and bunch of other script as well, right? So let's go to our uh, package.json file of our folder of our project. You see this particular script tag, right? So this is what script means. So this is script is an object with key value pair where you write a key that could be present out here as you see there is a test key so if i go here and search for test key if i go here and search for test key yep npm test right if you see here there is a command known as npm test already so you can you know write that test similarly there are other commands also that are uh, script that are provided by npm that is given by this all things that are provided by npm right so for example uh, you wanna you wanna set value to a script and uh, you know you can you can do so out here. For example, if you wanna do start start a script, you wanna write start start a script, right? You can do some actions. For example, I'll do node index dot js, right? And I'll write something on my index dot js. For example, I'll go ahead and console log, and I'll do I am uh, you know run by uh, script let's say npm script right so this is the one and i go ahead and save it i go to package.json i have already done node index.js so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'll do npm start so npm space your script name that is present out here i run that and let's see what it does so what it does it it goes here and dot node dot index dot this that we have written out here so simply it brings that is uh, that whatever you have put in the value pair and run it basically it can be uh, and it is running that script and it gives us i am run by an script that is present in index dot js you can also do other things as well like you can echo in a powershell for example uh, i am powershell for example i i go ahead and do npm start again so it will pick up and do the same thing and it will come here right so this is the thing and there are a bunch of script that are available that you can use and ma many developers or project use most of this scri uh, script uh, for their own purpose right so for example let's see uh, a react library uh, docs and package.json for example if i go to package.json of this library i will quickly find that there are a lot of scripts that are written to do some action, right? So sometimes what happened, uh, if, if you want to bound uh, a developer that is working on a repo to do some pre-checks before committing any change, right? So that can also, also be, you know, configured with that. You want to have some checks before publishing the package. You want to have that. You want to do some checks before installing a package. You can do so as well, right? So for example, if you go down, uh, let me find see there are bunch of script that happens uh, you know in this repo so this way you can mention lot of lot of you know scripts as well right so now question is there are bunch of script that are provided by npm right what if i want to have a script that is not provided by npm right that is not provided by npm these are all provided by npm and it is mapped that if you run this script what will happen right this if you run npm this script npm like start npm test what will happen right it is already mapped but what if if, if i have a script that is not present in npm right i'll go ahead and do my my script for example i want to execute this particular script right so how to do that you can do so as well so for example if i go ahead and do index.js and i want to run this so i'll try the same thing my script uh, npm my script it will give me an error it will it will not run basically right let's just check wait for some time my laptop is now super slow see this gives an error and says like you know there are no command that is present 
out of which that you have written right there is, that script is not present my script is not present here so that is giving me did you mean run script right so how to run it you have to just one add one more keyword that is run so this can used to run your script as well for example if i do npm run my script now it will be invoking node index.js as you can see node index.js and brings up i am run by a script so this is how you know you can write your custom script as well you can write custom script as many as you want here or use the pre built script by npm uh, uh you know to to perform some tasks i i would suggest go to this particular website and uh, see uh, what you know each of the script does right and what semantic meaning to them and you can make use of it and configure your project very nicely and you can also bring some custom script to make better use of your scripts custom script in your project with that that's it for this video i hope it, it makes sense if so consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye